Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a closer look at voice control for the iPhone 3GS. Okay, so the iPhone 3GS has a big new feature called voice control. Basically, you can speak to your iPhone and it will perform certain actions. Let's go and take a look at exactly what actions can be performed and how well it works. To use voice control, simply press and hold the button for a few seconds and then speak the command. Play playlist new music. Playing playlist new music. Now you can talk back to voice control. You can say no, nope, cancel, things like that. So if you do get a completely wrong response from it, you can quickly cancel it. I also find that pressing the cancel button very quickly will cancel whatever it is you're trying to do. To call someone, simply say call or dial and then speak their name. Call Steve Jobs. Calling Steve Jobs. Work. Now when you speak a name that has multiple numbers in your address book, it will simply prompt you and ask you home, work, mobile, whatever numbers you've got in there. And then you speak the response like work and it will dial that number for you. You can also dial a number. Call 303 Five 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 one two one two. Calling three zero three five 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 one two one two. So for music, you can just say play music, and it will play a song from your collection. You can also say play album and an album name, play artist and an artist name, or play playlist and a playlist name. Once music has started, you can reactivate voice control, and you could say pause or pause music. You can also say next song, or you can say previous song. You can also say shuffle to reshuffle the current playlist or album that you're listening to. And you can also say genius to activate the genius feature and play a randomly created playlist of songs that are similar to what you're listening to right now. Getting a complete list of what voice commands are accepted may be important as Apple updates its feature. To do that, simply say help. Help. Using iPhone voice control. You can tell iPhone to call contacts, play albums, or play playlists. So a big bug in voice control right now is it seems to refuse to play a playlist with podcasts in it or a podcast itself. So if you speak the name of a podcast, it seems to acknowledge it and it doesn't play anything. Speak the name of a playlist with podcasts in it and again it acknowledges it but it doesn't play anything. I hope this is just a bug and it will be fixed soon. One neat thing you can do is you can say what's playing? or what song is this and various other things. They all have the same result. They'll speak back to you the name of the song and artist and album that is currently playing. The biggest problem with voice control is it is very inaccurate. I find that usually, especially for music, I've got to speak it four, five, six, seven times before I can finally get the right one. Some artists it seems to recognize right away, presumably with easier names for it to understand. Other artists and songs it just never seems to get. I also hope that they add more voice commands. Like it was frustrating not to be able to bring up your calendar, for instance, using voice commands, or to bring up any other standard apps. It would be also great if you can actually ask it what the weather is. Things like that. So I think all the standard apps that come with the iPhone should have some sort of voice control, even if it's just to launch the app. But information like stocks and weather and things like that, they should actually give you some feedback as well. Right now, it seems voice control is only for playing music and making phone calls. I find I'm really frustrated by the long delay it takes. So you have to press and hold down the button for it seems like too long of a time to activate voice control. Also, sometimes it doesn't work. For instance, if your phone's asleep or if the screen is locked. And if you're driving in a car and trying to use voice control, sometimes it can be frustrating to try to get it to just activate when you don't really know what it shows on your screen while you're driving. So that's a closer look at voice control for the iPhone 3GS. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>